Before we configure our adapter, let's look at the pre-prepared configuration we'll use. Open the class files folder on the desktop, then open modbus adapter config JSON. This will open the file in Notepad++. We'll take a quick look through this file and get familiar with different configuration options for the adapter. If you need additional help, you can access the Aviva adapter for Modbus TCP documentation, which is bookmarked in the VM's web browser. In this configuration file, you'll see the specification of a new Modbus component with the ID of Modbus Simulator. For this new Modbus Simulator component, you'll see a corresponding Modbus TCP data source with an IP address of 127.0.0.1 and port 502. Further down, you'll see a definition for data filters. We just have one data filter here, the default one. You'll also see a data selection configuration specifying five different specific Modbus data streams to begin polling from the Modbus data source. Next, you'll see a data collection schedule specified with the ID Schedule 1, with a data collection period of 10 seconds. Each item in the Modbus adapter's data selection must be associated with a schedule. Schedules handle how often the adapter will scan for data. Finally, so that data from those five data items will end up in pi points on the lab VM, Aviva Pi server, you'll see the OMF egress configuration with a data endpoint Pi Web API target, including the endpoint address and the authentication, username, and password.